Hi guys. Um, do you know what today is? It's review day. Uh, you've probably seen uh, me with this for quite a while, in fact. Um, I'm going to review the Big Agnes Tiger Wall UL2 Solution Dyed. This is Solution Dyed. This is important because it's there are a couple of differences uh, between this and the regular, like last year's uh, Tiger Wall. Anyways, let's go outside. Let's set it up. Um, I'll go over some of the details of it, and I'll give you some of my um, experiences with it. Uh, I used this for the entire through hike of the IAT this summer in Canada and in Quebec, um, and and I have some I have some ideas. I have um, some things I can sh I'd like to share with you, uh, including a bit of a, a bit of a surprise. There's something, there's something you can do with this tent that. Uh, we'll make it way better than it is a and it's already a fantastic tent. Okay, let's go outside Okay um, First a few preliminaries This is a um, this is a double wall tent. I Currently am going to set it up using I can show you two systems for doing this um, I bought a ground sheet for it and what that allows you to do is do a fly first setup um, which for me was important uh, just because it gave me options you know if I was pulling into camp and uh, and it was raining or something or a storm you know and I wanted to get my stuff inside very quickly you can do that with this the main reason you can do that having the footprint is because it has grommets in it that allow you to Put the tent poles up first and then pitch your fly um, and this is custom made for this tent it's wider at the head and it's color coded just the same way as the tent is so down at the other end where it's yellow uh, that's your foot end because it's important this tent is not rectangular at all <laughs> strangely enough so um, so you would just set it up as you normally would, you know, I tack it in, I don't, I never put a tent down first time perfectly. And at the bottom you do not peg out, like I just pegged these out, these three spots. Now what you would do, and I'm not going to do it today, because I'm going to show you a pretty traditional way of setting it up. Where, uh, where you set up the body of the tent first, the inner. Um, this tent comes with DAC aluminum poles. I believe they're nine millimeter. Now, what I would do if I was doing a fly first is I would just put my tent poles up first, then put the fly on top, and then deal with it. As it is today, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to put the inner up and just, just to expedite things, you know, just to make it a little quicker. Um, just to show you some of the features. Now, as I said, this is a double wall tent, but and it's and it's a good tent. I use it all, all summer. Um, it weighs two pounds three ounces. Uh, but I believe it's a little heavier if you're packing out the whole thing. In other words, I didn't bring with me the extra little sleeve, repair sleeve, uh, for the poles, just simply because I had a way out. I had shelters and different options. I'm also going to show you a little uh, thing I did that I, that I found on the internet, on YouTube. Okay, so everything here is color coded. Like I said, the head end is much wider than the foot end, so the way you set this up is important. So for me, I just, I already put the pole in, otherwise I wouldn't normally do it this way, but again, color coded. Let's put everything in the way you normally would. 
this tent goes up pretty quick you know I mean as as tents go um, you know it's not it's not a bad tent at all Even the uh, the bottom end, even the bottom end of this is uh, color coded. Hang on, let me just get you back. You seem to have disappeared from me. Now this is what I would call a semi freestanding tent because you still do have to. Um, you know, you have to stake out some things. It won't stand completely on its own. Just bear with me, guys. So how I do it is I just do the three points, go straight to the middle, and let, let everything come down. Uh, very nice system here with a little ball. You just kind of snap this in. I always do from the top down. That way the tent sits in its as natural way that it can. Top down. That way nothing's pulling, nothing's there's no strain on it. And it's stretched out just the way it's supposed to be. I lost the stake. Maybe that's an extra one. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, as you can see, this goes up very easy. It's a very lightweight tent. Is it the lightest you can get? I don't know. I, I wouldn't comment on that, honestly. Um, but it is very, very light. That is true. I generally peg out the footprint with, with the corner. It's a very slippery um, footprint. It's nylon. The whole tent is sill nylon, silicone treated uh, on both sides. And that may sound funny, but it really isn't because some tents just don't have uh, silicone treatment on both sides. They only have it on the outside. Okay, so this is the basic setup without the fly. Quite a bit of room. Uh, definitely three seasons, no question about that. Um, and then the fly just clips on. It's, this is such an easy tent. I, I really, really enjoyed this tent. I had fun with it. Best way to set this up is to find the big logo. There it is. There's a logo here. Always put that to the head end. And then again, see it's just color-coded clips. goes up very easy. And with this little trick I'm going to show you, um, what's important here too with this setup is that you put these in the little cups. There's little holders here for the cross piece. I forgot to do that a couple times when I first got the tent. And it does matter. It really does matter. And it is a little tight. Then you can continue on with your clipping. You'll only have one clip at the foot end. And that's what stops it from being 
a completely uh, freestanding tent. But it's not bad. That's not, that is not that bad. Oops. Can't find the hole. And then you just go around and use the same pegs you got. Loosen these off a bit. Like I say, I don't ever tighten those pegs down until the very end. I leave everything slack. And uh, yeah, you don't have to worry about these two corners because they're already they're already clipped in. Really, that's the only thing that makes this a non-freestanding tent. I'm going to show you something real close. Um, I picked these up from Z-Packs. I don't know if you can see those there. Um, they're for the vegetables. There's a guy on the web. I want to say Iona or something. It's like a Hawaiian name or something. Um, oh, by the way, I do use heavier stakes for the vegetables. Uh, I use the mini groundhogs instead of the ones that they provided. Um, and so what I've done with this Z-Pax connector is the two sides of this can just hook right on the same way you would with, say, oh, I don't know, any one of the Z-Pax tents. Um, and just put it in the back, back side, same thing. I already have it here waiting for me. How convenient is that? <laughs> and then that'll, what that allows you to do is independently open each side of the um, vestibule, the vestibule door. And then just tighten everything up, tension everything up. Uh, I absolutely love to put this one. You, you can leave it like this and it'll work just fine. I wouldn't guy out um, like on a normal on a normal day. I wouldn't use these guy lines. Although if I did, I would just put them down to that one peg in the middle. Um, this tent is pretty, pretty stout. And I'm going to show you something here now that's very crucial to this. Well, for me, anyways. Uh, that guy that did the hack, I did as well. Same as he did. Um, and what it is, is, and I'll bring you over here and I'll let you have a look at it. Don't mind the camera shaking. The grow pot's pretty heavy duty. See if you look really close. Yeah, you see how that connects? I can just take one side of it off if I so desire. Double vestibules. Very nice tent. Very nice tent. Let's look inside. See here now. See, I have to undo this in order to get in, but I can just do the one side. I just kicked it open. Way to go incisive. So as you can see, here's the inside. Uh, double zipper. Why they did that? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> oh, it's dirty. Lots of room. Pockets. Big pocket here at the top. Two smaller pockets down here at the corners. 
very nice very very nice uh, like I say it's a little narrower at the ends um, I'll give you all the stats on this you're gonna really like this tent it's a little more expensive uh, trail weight is two pounds three ounces and when they say trail weight that means things get trimmed down like I told you with the repair kit etc uh, packed weight is two pounds eight ounces fast fly weight is one pound eleven ounces so no inner just the fly um, floor area is 28 uh, square feet head height is 39 inches vestibule area is eight feet times two footprint weight is six ounces a little heavy uh, you can just you can use Tyvek just as easily however if you do that you now give up the option of, of, of doing a fast fly um, three season tent two doors uh, so solution dyed fabric is highly resistant to UV fade so this it really really this fabric not only is good for the environment um, it's really good for for the Sun it will not fade the way you think it will or the way most tents do let's tighten that out a bit it's not a great pitch it's not the best pitch but having these little tie outs and changing the stock factory you see this one here you see how this is a set length these were all set lengths everything was set length uh, when I got this tent uh, it was problematic because what was happening for me was the fly here was actually touching the inner the corner of the tent underneath here uh, and water was getting in um, putting this little hack uh, that I found on the web really helped in that regard uh, you can really tension down the tent in your own way uh, you, you get a much better pitch much more control you can actually adjust and, and you know set the tension the way you want to uh, that's important now that having said that just because it is a dual wall tent a double wall tent does not in any way sorry about the saw guys and the planes and everything I'm in the city um, but what the, what the problem is is for me anyways is that just because it's a double wall tent does it does not in any way um, imply that it's immune to condensation it is not uh, I had a situation where not only did it condensate very heavily on the fly on the inside uh, but because it was raining so heavily every time the rain hit the tent whatever condensation was there on the inside of the fly splashed down onto the mesh and eventually uh, I, it, everything did wet out um, now mind you that was Hurricane Ida or at least the edge of it um, so you know <laughs> we're gonna give the tent a pass on that um, anyway it's a beautiful tent very nice like I said not the best pitch uh, my opinions on it uh, at, at its weight uh, I would guess that it's close to one of the lightest, if not the lightest, two per, or sorry, two uh, double wall tent. Um, there are lighter tents, of course. It's not tensioned as much as it could be. Um, there are lighter tents, but you, most of those are single wall. And uh, it goes up pretty quick. I mean, I, I can put this up. In, in about three minutes three or four minutes faster if I'm in a hurry <laughs> if I really have to um, I generally uh, I'll say something about the stuff sack it comes in it's horrible it's not big enough in my opinion uh, but that's no issue for me because I always carried the tent poles uh, in a separate in its own sack in its own and I would keep it outside the bag so I could set up easily when I got to camp um, I would never put everything into one one uh, one bag I mean I wouldn't even try 
but if you're just doing the inner and the outer it goes into its included stuff sack very easily very nicely uh, it's it's about 16 inches wide uh, the bag and it's about eight inches wide uh, so it's pretty big pretty big when it's when it's packed um, but it'll hang hang off your backpack quite nicely I always did I always hung it off the back uh, near the top um, and I had no no issues with it at all uh, I, I've since gone back to a different tent but uh, this tent is amazing and I will use it I, I'm keeping it I will definitely use it um, yeah and that's my that's my take on this tent it's the big Agnes Tiger wall 2 solution died solution died uh, I don't know how that important that is to you essentially all it's going to mean is that uh, it's going to last longer the sun's not going to break it down as much uh, it's very very fine uh, tendonier Ten, I think it's tendonier it feels like tendonier it doesn't say in the description on the, in the website but I'm gonna I'm just gonna put myself out there and say it's tendonier anyways guys Tiger Wall UL2 by Big Agnes